your second season here in Dingwall. How have you found the, the year and a half, almost two years that you've been up in the Highlands? Yeah, it's been uh, enjoyable. Um, when I came up here, I was looking to kind of start playing more games and kind of try and establish myself as a number one. So I think I've kind of done that and uh, I really enjoyed my time here so far. It's the most appearances you've made for a club in your career here at Ross County. As a person, as a player, does that give you a lot of confidence that you're doing the right things? Yeah, I think uh, I came to the club at the right time. I was at a good age um, at previous clubs. I was a bit younger, kind of number two, trying to fight and get in the team. So I think I came at a good age to Ross County and Foxy left. And obviously I knew the position was kind of up for grabs. So that was kind of why I wanted to kind of come here. And um, also I'm glad I did because I really enjoyed the time so far. Last season there was Nathan Baxter and Jack Reddy. This season you've got Ross Doohan and Ross Munro. As a goalkeeper, is it good to have that healthy competition in the ranks? Yeah, I think so. Um, I think probably the best I've kind of played and, and the other goals I've played when they've been competition um, the start of the season um, last year probably didn't do as well, but I think I kicked on for there and um, obviously this year as well, I think when um, Ross came in and also Ross Munro as well, we've all kind of pushed each other well. So, no, it's been good. I think um, you need that competition that you're getting complacent or you know that if you make a mistake, there's somebody ready to step in, and I think that's that's good to have. You're working with one of the most established goalkeeping coaches in Scotland, in Scott Thompson. Given his experiences in the game, it must be good to draw upon his knowledge and his expertise on a daily, weekly basis. Yeah, very much so. Um, it was part of the reason I came up to Ross County was to work. I knew um, I spoke to a lot of people about Scott, and they also spoke really highly of him. So it was part of the reason I came up here, I knew that I would get tested, I, I got told if he wanted to go was really hard to be fair, so uh, no, I was uh, looking forward to coming in and uh, now he's great to kind of bounce off and even when you're playing or not playing, he's, he keeps you kind of motivated as well when you're not playing every week, so no, he's been really good and I think he's good for the goals, he's a good kind of tight knit group between us, so uh, no, I really enjoy working with him. At 28, is the important thing for, for Ross Laidlaw just to keep the jersey, keep the place in the team and, and that continuity for you? Yeah, I think that's good. I think mean, you want to play kind of week in, week out, but I think your performances need to be a level where you justify getting played every week. And I think this year, I think I've been more consistent with performances, and I think that's why I've played probably more this season than I have last year. So it's just a case of trying to keep that kind of, like you say, 7 out of 10 performance kind of every week and try and limit the mistakes as much as you can. But I think the older you get, the kind of more experience you get where decision making gets a bit better and when to come and when to stay gets a bit better so I think that just takes time you need to kind of make those mistakes to kind of make you kind of goalkeeper you are today. Knowing you and, and having watched you since you've come in here it's clear to see that you've tried to improve various aspects of your game and you have done successfully what do you feel have been the most important assets in helping you make those developments in your game? Uh, I think obviously my size um, I probably didn't utilise it as much as I should have um, last season and we kind of worked on it this pre-season maybe talking about coming from more cross balls and kind of being more active on the front foot and rather I think the previous man I worked on not being as safe and trying to take more risk and coming out and helping at defence because we've seen a lot of goal set pieces um, last season so um, I've just been working on trying to come for crosses doing extra batomo on a Thursday or Friday before the game and working on things like that I think it has helped um, the team as well not just for me Play your part in producing tomorrow's stars of the Staggies with an Academy Player Sponsorship Package for Season 2020-21. First Team Future Success relies on your support to nurture players like current number 43, Josh Reed. For more information on how you can assist the Football Academy in developing the next generation of Ross County, contact gordon.duff at rosscountyfootballclub.co.uk today. We had Scott on one of our half-time shows a couple of weeks ago. He was saying Thursday and Friday are the better days uh, for the goalies in training. Would you agree? Yeah, I don't, I don't think like a Tuesday very much when he gets the weight jackets and belts and all that kind of stuff. Like, nah, it's, it's hard work, but uh, nah, Thursday Friday it kind of gets a bit more in the goal and more kind of reaction and shot stuff and rather than just your kind of basic handling kind of stuff. So nah, I think I agree with that. I think Friday Friday's the lightest, so I think that's probably the best day for me. Hmm. You train every day with a couple of our younger goalkeepers, Ross Munro and, and Logan Ross. It must be great to, to see them developing and, and knowing that you're playing a part in their development as well. 
Yeah, and they're both really good goalkeepers, um, and they, they're like sponges. They want to take everything in. That also, I'm kind of the senior goal at the club, and I'm also giving them pointers that people gave me when I was younger. So they both want to learn, and they're both eager to learn. And I've said to them the best thing to do is go and try and play games because it's probably one of my regrets in my career. I never got out uh, at Rafe because obviously budget and money. I couldn't get out and loan. I had to kind of sit on the bench and kind of wait for my chance. So I've told them to go out and get as many games as they can, and that's what they're doing. They're both also out on loan just now, so um, no, it's good for them to get as many minutes as they can and they'll learn loads for that, not just in training, but going out and actually getting the experience of playing games first hand. What are your goals for the coming months, for, for the rest of this season here at Ross County? Yeah, I think obviously like where we are on the table is not great just now, we need to look to improve on that, so from a personal point of view I want to contribute more to getting like more clean sheets and better performances in the park and hopefully we can climb the table, but I'm really enjoying playing week in, week out, and I want to kind of stay in the team if I can, but I know my performances need to be at a level that I uh, mean I'm playing. You have a young family. Has the Highlands been an ideal place for you to set up with your family as well as play your football? Yeah, it's great. Um, obviously, we had a decision to make when we came up here what we were going to do, but I think the best decision was bringing Claire and Jack up um, that was only two or three months at the time when we came up, so it wasn't a kind of easy time. So settling in took a wee while, but now nah, like they love it up here as well. So it's been great for me, like coming back. I'm only 20 minutes away for the training ground, so I get back also much quicker than I did at previous clubs. So it's good, and we obviously love the area, and it's a beautiful place to stay, and it's been really good for family life as well. One of the things that people don't really realise about Ross County is the, the facilities and everything that comes with the club. A lot of the time away teams only come into the main stand and they don't see what they're probably seeing now with where they're changing for COVID. The facilities and, and the whole package here at Ross County must have been a big appeal to, to you when you were signing here. Yeah it was obviously. I came up and spoke to the previous manager in Ferg at the time. And Scott as well, so they, like, their thing was they wanted to take you around and show you the facility, so I thought it was a good kind of selling point, so I came up and uh, got shown around and obviously don't realise obviously the training ground, all the facilities we've got, the gym, things like that, so uh, even the indoor Astro turf which we're using just now because obviously the snow and the bad weather, so uh, no, it's been really good for all that kind of stuff and it's, it's what you want, you want to come to the work environment and you've got everything there ready for you, so there's no excuses. Ross, thank you for taking the time for joining us on RCFC TV and we wish you all the best out there. Good luck. Cheers. Thanks for that. Thank you.